Thank you so much for joining the Community Violence Intervention Center today. I'm Koya Tompkins, President and CEO of CVIC, where our vision is to end interpersonal violence in two generations through safety, healing, and education. And today we're going to focus on safety and talking with our rural violence intervention advocate, Leah. Leah, thank you so much for being with us today. So Leah, tell us a little bit about what a rural advocate does. As a rural advocate, I'm able to go out and meet with clients in their communities at a safe, neutral location. Um, I can help provide like emotional support. I can assist with safety planning, um, domestic violence protection orders. I assess people for our shelter. Um, and there's just so much more that I can do which is really a great part of my role and it's what I love. Yeah. Tell us why the rural outreach and advocacy is so important to our mission. So it's super critical that we're able to go out and meet clients where they're at because oftentimes they don't have transportation to get into town or there's other barriers um, such as like some tactics um, that people who use violence use against their victims like they'll track the mileage on their car they'll look at how much gas they have left in the tank and just finding unique ways to help with that safety need we don't think those of us who maybe don't do this every day don't think of all the complexities of just leaving a relationship and how complicated it can be so I appreciate you kind of shedding some light on that kind of getting to um, you know how clients reach us if someone is considering you know making that first call or making a first step or, or maybe it's even a friend who would like their family member to take that first step what advice do you have for them yeah, so you'll just call CVIC's number. If it's not safe for you to make that call on your own, you can use a friend's phone because sometimes um, what I see is that people using violence, like they'll look at who they've been calling and sometimes it helps to kind of put us under like a different name. Like let's say you have a friend named Amber, like just put me under as Amber. Um, so that they won't retaliate against you for calling and reaching out for help. Um, that's honestly the best way to get a hold of me. Um, and whenever you call in, somebody from our front desk will answer and they'll ask um, how you want your call to be directed. If you live in the rural community, say that you wanna speak with the rural advocate and you should get connected directly to me. If for whatever reason I'm not available, another advocate can take your call and they can always pass along your message to me. So tell us a little bit about the need that is in the rural communities because I, I think it's something we don't always think about. So whenever I'm out in the rural communities and I'm working with people, um, oftentimes they're experiencing intimate partner violence, um, and every so often I will have somebody who has experienced sexual violence too. What they're needing out in rural communities is somebody to be there for them, is accessible services. I've worked with all different kinds of populations out in our rural communities. I want everybody to have equal access to services. Mm -hmm. It's one of the reasons that I like working for nonprofits is because I believe that everybody should have access to these services that are life-saving. But I am kind of curious um, because you have such a passion for not only our work but some of the ancillary stuff that affects it. What is the best part of your job, do you think? I guess one of the most impactful experiences that I've had in the field is being able to transport somebody to our shelter and just knowing that they're safe. Mm -hmm. They're finally out of that situation and their kids will be okay. Absolutely, there's just nothing like um, knowing someone's going to at least be getting connected to the right, to the right place. So. Thanks again, Leah, for joining us. We hope you can join us next time. We are gonna invite Brittany and Matt from our prevention and education team to talk about bullying prevention in both youth and adults.